I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions to prepare for new SAT. So I have a set of questions here which relate to exponents. So we have two questions. We will discuss how to solve them. Once you know how to solve them, you can always answer a multiple choice question, right? That's kind of important to understand. The question here is, if 3x minus y equals to 4, what is the value of 27 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of y? The second one is kind of similar, which is if x minus y equals to 1, write expression for 8 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of y. Let us see how to solve them. Now, whenever you have exponential expressions, it is better to write them with common base, right? So, as you know, 27 could be written as 3 cube. 3 cube is 27. So, in this particular question, we have 27 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of y. I could write 27 as 3 cube. So, I will write this as 3 cube to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of y. Now, once we have the same base, we can apply the laws, right? Well, the numerator here is 3 to the power of 3x. Power rule can be applied divided by 3 to the power of y. Now, we have same base. When we divide, then the powers get subtracted. So, we could write this as 3 to the power of 3x minus y. So this expression simplifies to 3 to the power of 3x minus y. What are we given? We are given 3x minus y is 4. So I could write this as 3 to the power of 4. Is it okay? 3 to the power of 4. We need to find its value. What is 3 to the power of 4? You can always use your calculator. 3 squared is 9. Square of 9 is 81 and get the answer. For this question, calculator may not be allowed. That is why I did it without calculator. 3 to the power of 4, you could think like, let me rewrite. 3 to the power of 4 could be written as 3 square times 3 square, kind of, right? Or 9 times 9, which is 81. Okay, so that is the solution for the first one. Now let us see how to solve the next one, which is kind of similar, right? You can actually pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my video. Now here the concept is kind of similar. You can always write 8 as, so 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3, right? So it's kind of similar. Now we have the same base and we can solve it. But in this particular question, I will actually follow a different method. So what I'll do here is, we know what is x minus y equals to 1. So let me rearrange this, right? So I could write this as we know x minus y equals to 1. So what is x equals to? x is equals to y plus 1. Is it okay? So I can replace x with y plus 1. In that case, I get the same exponents, okay? And also, I will change the base from 8 to 2, right? So now, what I will do here is that we'll write a to the power of x over 2 to the power of y as 8 is 2 cube, right? 2 cube. And x is y plus 1. So instead of x, I will write y plus 1. You get the concept, right? So I replaced x with y plus 1 and I replaced 8 with 2 cube. So I've done two steps here. And we have 2 to the power of y in the denominator, right? So if it is in the denominator, then it gets subtracted. So you get 2 to the power of, let's open this up. We get 3y plus 3, right? And this is in the denominator, so it becomes minus y. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how it will be, right? Or you could do it in two steps. Let me show you in two steps. 2 to the power of 3y plus 3 over 2 to the power of y, right? And then 
we can say this is 2 to the power of 3y plus 3 minus y. Is it okay? Same thing, right? Okay, let's move forward. 3y minus y is how much? It's 2y. So 2 to the power of 2y plus 3. Now, if the powers are kind of like this, how could you write this as? 2 to the power of 2y times 2 to the power of 3. Is it okay? So you could write this as 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So 8 times 2 to the power of 2y. Is it okay? So that is how you could write your expression. Now, you could actually write this as 2 squared is 4, right? You know, 2 squared is 4. You could write 4 to the power of y also. So it could also be written as 8, 4 to the power of y. So there are different ways in which I could rearrange this particular expression and write in different forms. So the idea of giving you all these forms is that in multiple choice, and this is y, okay, in multiple choice, at times, um, it may be confusing. So it's good to know how to work with these exponents so that you can really pick up the right answer, right? You can also see that in the first case, we were given the value of the exponent and therefore we could evaluate the answer. In the second case, the value was not given. So we have written x in terms of y and we have an expression here. We cannot find its value, right? So that's kind of difference in these two examples, but they, uh, the concept is same. So I hope you get the concept from here. That should help you in answering many similar kind of questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.